caves are, are often thought to be rare phenomena, but they actually are not. We actually live in a very whole filled planet and caves are made out of many different materials, not just carbonates, but uh, there are caves in granite, there are caves in quartzite, there are caves in ice, there are caves in salt beds. They provide a wealth of different chemistries. Organisms uh, on the microbial scale are very good, of course, at living in environments that, uh, that we don't think of as habitable. And so about 20 years ago, I began to think about the role of the subsurface as a potential habitat, particularly with respect to Mars, because current Mars is not a very pleasant place on the surface. So that caused us to sort of turn inward and think about the fact that we were just beginning to discover that we had this wealth of microbial biodiversity under the surface of our planet. Once I did start to go into caves, I discovered that they were virtually unexploited scientifically in terms of their biological contents, especially the microbial life that was down there. And in the intervening 20 years, I have brought to bear on this what I learned from the previous 15 or so of my career working in surface extreme environments. And that is that the subsurface is very extreme in some ways, but is also very nurturing in other ways. So what you do have to do is figure out a way to make a living on very little organic material, or the organisms that I specialize in are ones that are actually not using organics. They're, they're getting energy from chemical reactions with minerals and metals. So uh, myself and two other uh, colleagues from NASA Ames Research Center spent five days underground, which is logistically very difficult and, and physically demanding. And the whole time I was in there, I kept thinking, I just have to live long enough to get out of here. I had a blob of this fluffy stuff from the ceiling fall into my eye and cause it to instantly swell up with some kind of like infection or response. And I thought, that's the signal of life. I think somebody just fell into my eye. <laughs> and so when I got out, uh, you know, I was really beaten up. And you know, you start to heal from the bruises and the infected eye and all this stuff. What I had seen in there was so different from anything I had ever studied. It was so amazingly diverse that I realized that I I had an unparalleled opportunity to go into essentially what was an unexplored world. There's nothing more magnificent than coming out from five or six days in Lechuguilla Cave underground where you were really transformed into a different person really. <laughs> and coming out once again and smelling the unbelievable aroma of earth and feeling air currents on your skin that we normally don't even notice. That contrast is, is eternally renewing.